Chapter 8.3 deals with the number of solutions of a linear equation. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the example 2, which basically runs through the um, ideas of this entire chapter. So I'm going to go through and show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing, uh, just by looking at equations, um, first things we can see in this one is that the slopes are different. And because the slopes are different, that means that my two lines, I don't know what these lines look like, but I know that one is going to be sloped like this, and the other one's going to be sloped, say, like this. They both have positive slope, so they're going to intersect at some point. And they also have different y-intercepts. Different y-intercepts. I spelled differently wrong. That's all right. Oh, I don't know. Different y-intercepts. So the slopes are different, the different y-intercepts, therefore, they I know that they intersect in one location. So they intersect. Well, what if I can't compare the slopes right away, like these ones? Hmm, let me see here. Well, a quick way to do it, you, you could get each one in y equals form, or I could look at the values in front of x and the values in front of y, and I could say, okay, well, the values in front of x are being multiplied by 2. The values in front of y are being multiplied by 2. And therefore, the slopes are going to be the same. But if I look at the end number not multiplied by 2, therefore, the y-intercepts are different. And if the slopes are the same, but the y-intercepts are different, you're going to get lines that look like this, which are parallel. So we have parallel lines. The first ones we had were intersecting lines. And the second ones are parallel. But again, you could have gone through and solved each one of these for y equals, right? I could have taken the first one. And I could have solved for y. I would have gotten 10y equals negative 4x plus 30. Then I can divide by 10. So I get y equals, and I'm going to reduce that, 2 fifths x plus 3. So that's my equation of my first line. 2, negative 2 fifths x plus 3. Now let's take the second one here. So I'm going to solve for y again. So I get 5y is equal to negative 2x plus 35. Divide by 5, so I get y is equal to negative 2 fifths x plus 7. Notice now that you can see, okay, yeah, they have the same slope, negative 2 fifths, but they have a different y-intercept. Okay, so same slopes, different y-intercept mean parallel lines. That also illustrates why they have the same slope. Yeah, it looks different now, but if it's just a multiple and I reduce, end up reducing the fraction, the fraction's reduced to the same value. All right, last one here. Now, it's hard to compare when you have x's and y's, so a good idea is to get all the x's on one side. So for this one, the top equation, I can leave the negative 6y where it is, move the x term over, so I get negative 12 minus 10x, and the bottom I get 21y equals 42 plus 35x. Now in this case, it's really hard to tell what each one is being multiplied by. However, if you use a calculator and I say, okay, well, 21 divided by 6 <clears throat> is 3 and a half. So I know that to get to 6, I'm dividing by negative 3.5. Let's see if that works all the way across. 42 divided by 3.5. Yeah, that gets me 12. So I know that this one here is also being divided by 3.5. And the last one, 35 divided by 3.5. Yeah, that's 10. So I know the end has also been divided by 3.5. So if it's been multiplied or divided by the same number all the way across, here we have what are called coincident lines. And coincident lines basically mean that it is the same line, just written in a different form. So if you have a graph, the lines would lie right on top of each other. 
be the same line. And just to illustrate that further, again, we can, we can solve each one of these for y. So I solve this one for y. I get y is equal to, I'm going to divide through by negative 6 and reduce my fractions. So negative 12 over negative 6 is negative 2. Sorry, positive 2. And then negative 10 over negative 6 is a positive. I can divide by 2 for each one. So I get 5 over 3x. So it's got a y-intercept of 2, a slope of 5 thirds. Same thing with this one. I'm going to divide by 21. So I get y is equal to 42 divided by 21 is 2. And then 35 and 21 have 7 in common. 7 goes into 35 five times. 7 goes into 21 when I divide by it three times, x. So notice that when I solve for y equals for both these lines, they're exactly the same. Because when I reduce the fraction down, I get the same slope. And when I divide by that value in front of y, I also get the same y-intercept. So there's two ways to check it. Get it in y equals form to check to see if it's got the same slope. Compare the y-intercept. Or just check to see if every value is being multiplied or divided by the same thing. In this case, it was being multiplied by 2. But the y-intercepts, the number on its own, were different. And in the first case, if it's just a completely different line, if it's got a different y-intercept and different slope, then they intersect. If they have the same slope, different y-intercept, they're parallel. If they have the same slope and the same y-intercept, then they're called coincident lines.